Mice Knights? What? Just what? I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the YouTube channel you binge watch during the weekends. I am K1, bringing you back some more retro fun and continuing my playthrough of Darkwing Duck. So we're going to go into the forest and take care of Dr. Bushroot. So let's get into it. So by no surprise, Bushroot is really the incarnation of Poison Ivy for obvious reasons. Okay, that's surprising. I knew Killer Flowers, but I don't know where they're getting these dogs. Where'd this come from? Eh, it's Disney. Don't question it. So, just like Pamela Isley, Bushroot was a was a was a scientist who mainly focused on flora plants and how to bring them to mainly to life. It was either to it was mainly either to life or sustain them through longer life. And sadly, you know. He was bullied for that by some, by the bigger scientists who were also pretty nerdy than him, who just believed in making vegetables bigger, that kind of thing. So he was more helpful to mankind and all they thought about was just making money. So of course, when a time came to decide, you know, just like most scientists, he was not making progress. So they said, if you don't make progress, then we're going to cut your funding. So to save his, his scientific career, he literally used himself in one final experiment to prove that his, you know, his, his experiment could actually work and we wouldn't have to and he wouldn't have to worry. Ah, oh, crap. So like I was saying, so he tries his experiment on himself and it works but of course <laughs> being cartoon logic you know oh it backfires and you know first it's just simple oh i'm green i'm green you know i'm just okay maybe the green is just a quick little side effect oh no and then later on he figures out just like poison ivy he has the power to control plants and in a weird twist like you know like with Darkwing's villains, you know, some want money, some want power, but for main thing of anything Bushroot wants to do, it's mainly love. I mean, he, he did have a stand in one of the episodes, he actually found a way to grow money and turn it into a li real life money tree. I mean, that made sense. I mean, <laughs> you had that kind of power, well, she <laughs> debt. Or struggles? Ha! What struggles? Okay, looks like I'm going down the waterfall. Ooh, nothing, nothing screams a cave like bats. Okay, hidden pathway. What? Knights? Okay. Whoa, these are uh, these are knights invulnerable or something? Okay, getting that health. But then main thing of all of Bushroot's plans involve him making a bride. So he's more like, he's not really fully evil. He's just lonely because, you know, he has nobody. But, you know, Bushroot's not really evil. He doesn't really. And then there was the Christmas episode where he just turned a bunch of Christmas trees against St. Canard. But that was mainly to save the environment. So that was definitely more Poison Ivy-ish because that's something that she would do. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, jump. Okay, we got this. Oh, that was good. Yes! Nice. Down to the ground, Bushroot. Down to the ground. 
Job well done. And... 6,800. Not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Pretty short level, I won't lie. So, of course, I'll be continuing next time. Once again, if you liked the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and always remember to share. I want to bring more info to the NXL faithful. Once again, this is your boy K1 bringing you back that retro fun. See you next time.